Bill Kelly. Sweens assisted the winner on Tuesday, scored the winner today. You're making a habit of this. Yeah, um, it's been a good week, um, personally and, and for us. Um, listen, today was a was a big game for both clubs, I think. Um, we came here quietly confident. Um, decent pitch, decent stadium against a, a top side top side so we had to win the game um, and a, a lot of decent chances to, to kind of go ahead in, in the first half and kind of made a couple of silly um, personal errors uh, across the team and and um, they, t they took the lead going to the second half and, and we responded in, at half time and, and came out firing and People say you get what you deserve, but that could have went either way today. So there's some more buzzing um, going into the last game against Barrow at home, and same thing again. We got a win. It could have been so easy, to, you know, to get caught up in the emotion of, of the home fans outside and how much was riding on it for Bolton. But we seem to say really level-headed and just get the job done. Well, yeah, like we said, there was a, there was a bit of pressure on on them because they were at home and their own stadium and their own fans, a couple of thousand fans outside the stadium waiting for a party. So, as as polite as we wanted to be, we wanted to come and spoil the party because we had to win. We we want to be selfish ourselves. We want to get promoted ourselves uh, through the playoffs, and that's what we done today. I thought we 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 done really well. We played some nice stuff in the second half and 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 a, and a good few chances in the first half. So. Um, it, it was late doors. It was it was a it was a great ball in from Jack, and I was just lucky enough to be the one on the end of it. And and, and thankfully, um, thankfully it went in, and we go into the last game of the season with a chance of of playoffs. So you mentioned the delivery there. It was the perfect ball. And I think a few of us up in the press box thought Yoko was going to get. <laughs> yeah, but no. Ball header in. Yeah, no. It was it was a great ball in. Um, I think a few of the boys said it's about time Jack put a good ball in, but. Um, yeah, no, Jocko came up late doors and I just had a joke with him in the change room saying, he, he, he said to me, oh, I'm up, Swains, where do you want me? I was like, I don't really want you up here, but just go and, go and cause a bit of havoc. But, um, yeah, no, listen, it was a nice feeling and, and hopefully that gives us even more confidence that, that we can we can go um, back to Exeter next week and and hopefully beat Barrow and, and we'll see where we are come five o'clock on Saturday. And it really comes down now to, to the three teams above us that we're all in touching distance of. A few weeks ago, we weren't really sure how this yeah. was going to go, but the togetherness of this team in the last week has just been superb. Yeah, it hasn't been perfect. Listen, we all know that we, we had three three nil all draws on the bounce, and God knows where we'd be if we had a, a scored one of them chances. We we would have been well well far off better, but. Um, this is the tightest uh, the playoffs have been for, f since I've been at, at this football club for the last five years, and it's it's never perfect in League Two. It's 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 never straightforward, and and we know that as a club. I think my first season here, we were we were bottom at Christmas, and then we ended up getting to the playoff final. So we'll get what we deserve next week. If looks on our side, then then so be it. Um, but we'll take it with both hands and, and give it a good go. And, and if it isn't on our side, we, we, we know where we, we let ourselves down. And But listen, this is this is going to give us a, a real good boost and going into next week. And if we can come to Bolton and beat them, we can beat anybody. Yourself and players like Jake have been in this position before. They know how a playoff campaign works. If, if we were to make the playoffs, you you two, you're going to be guiding the youngsters. It's, it's, it's alien to them. Yeah, it's... <laughs> It's almost second nature for me at this club to to be in a, a playoff campaign. I think if we make this one, this will be, be fourth and five and five seasons. So, um, yeah, it's it's going to be um, familiar um, circumstances for for me and Jake. And there's a couple of older boys who've played um, at different clubs in playoff campaigns and, and successful play, playoff campaigns. So, yeah, no, it's it's going to be a, an interesting week next week. Um, and anything can happen. It's going to be last kick of the game like today, first minute. And, and stuff. It's gonna be. It's gonna be nitty gritty. And these, these, these. This is what we get paid for. We get paid for games like today and games like next week, where we have to turn up and we have to win. And and hopefully we can do that. Finally, then, what's your twenty quid pocket money from the gaffer being spent? <laughs> well, I'm gonna have a large whiskey. I think <laughs> a large whiskey and a, and a large beef burger and chips. So, cheers to the gaffer for that. Well deserved. Thank <laughs> cheers, you. mate. Nice one.